Makey's pups are about to make their way above ground for the first time. Females can have up to seven pups in a litter, but this time the family are welcoming three new arrivals. Two brothers, Jack and Joe, and their little sister Lily take their place in the family. It's both an exciting and anxious time for the group. Pups this size can attract the wrong sort of attention. The harsh reality is one in every four pups will not make it to adulthood. At just three weeks old, the young are blissfully unaware of the dangers that surround them. For now, they rely solely on the adults for their protection and food. While the others keep watch, Makey gives her youngsters a final feed of milk before leading the gang off for their daily forage. It's vital she regains the weight she lost after her 70-day pregnancy. Her pups are still too small to join the main group on the hunt. The young will remain at the burrow for another week until they're strong enough to keep up with the adults. Today, it's the turn of Bruce to babysit. The rest of the clan set off to the eastern edge of their range. Each day they forage in a different patch to allow previously plundered land to regenerate. The clan spend up to eight hours hunting every day. Their powerful sense of smell and acute hearing enable them to find prey scuttling beneath the sand. Meerkats are perfectly designed for digging. They have rigid two centimeter long claws which act like shovels. A second transparent eyelid works like a windscreen wiper to keep their eyes from getting clogged. Adults regularly shift their own body weight in sand every 20 seconds to find a meal. While most have their heads buried in the sand, one member of the gang usually scans the surrounding area for danger. Dark patches around their eyes work like sunglasses to reduce the glare of the African sun. Adults have over 30 different calls, each with their own meaning. The steady bleep of the sentinel's call reassures the rest of the clan the coast is clear. In an aerial emergency, meerkats will often go to ground, taking refuge in one of the countless bolt holes in their territory. All the adults have detailed knowledge of the precise location of up to a thousand of these hideouts. The group will rarely stray more than 60 meters from a bolt hole at any time. Knowing where to hide from an aerial attacker can mean the difference between life and death. But underground shelters can't safeguard against all predators. A Cape Cobra, one of the most venomous snakes in Africa. A single strike from this predator contains enough venom to kill six men. Undetected, they could easily ambush an unsuspecting meerkat. When a sentinel spots the sinister shape in the grass, he sounds the snake alarm. It's a cue to band together and form an aggressive mob.
sparring like boxers, meerkats continually bob their heads and keep on the move to avoid the cobra's deadly strike. Bearing teeth and using spit calls, they attempt to drive the predator away. Finally, the cobra concedes. Meerkats win the day. At the babysitting burrow, doting dad Bruce is having a relaxing time of it. It's clear his young are enjoying their newfound freedom. Play fighting isn't only fun, it helps the youngsters develop the combat skills they'll need later in life. While the boys play rough and tumble, little Lily tries her hand at digging. She's yet to learn what's edible and what's not, but those lessons will have to wait until she's strong enough to forage with the adults. For now, a morning at the babysitting burrow is more than enough to tire the youngsters out. Oh.